And so my yeah, biggest wow. fears was, were those being abandoned, not being listened to, being discarded. You know, when you think about uh, manipulation and gaslighting and stonewalling, mm -hmm. um, those are all ways of invalidating the other person's experience. And that's all related to the fact that I've always been this paradoxical creature where I'm highly emotional, but I'm also highly analytical. And that can be heaven or it can be hell. I know I what mean, you mean. I mean, when it's dark... Yes, yes. You continue. know what I mean? Yeah, I'm very analytical and emotional as well. So I know oh, what you mean. It can, you can, and if you have a, an imagination and a creative mind, that's worse as well. That could make things very... Yeah, yeah. Um, it, can be, it can be hell or heaven, as, as I was saying. Mm, mm. So there's this, you get into this loop of thinking about what you're feeling and, and you... I mean, there's this point where even in a relationship, maybe it happened to you because you said you were staying and being steadfast in your past relationships, even ignoring red flags. And those are all things I did as well. And yeah. did this happen to you where you, oh God, it slipped my mind. I lost it. Okay. Oh, I lost what I was, I oh. lost what I was going to say. About um, staying in a relationship and was there a reason why or is it something to do with the past or something? Are you, did you mean to say or? Oh, yeah. No. Yes. So thank you very much. So when you start to internalize all the negative things because of the analytical mind, you can internalize um, the ways that someone behaves to you or the oh, way yeah. that someone speaks to you and you can start to take it upon yourself. And, and even if you have an abandonment or any kind of wound of being invalidated or unloved in your childhood, yeah. you're going to internalize it and think that it's somehow on you, that this is what you deserve, that this is why you're staying because it's what you deserve and it's what you have to go, to go through. Did you ever experience this? I, yeah, I definitely experienced that. I, I had a bit of a like a crazy uh, teenage year experience. Uh, had some dark years, um, and 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 uh, I won't go into the details now of, of that. Uh, but it did leave me. I was like, there was a stage where I was, I had like growth problems, and I was teased every day in high school. So I was, I, I didn't even date anyone until after high school because I matured and blossomed later in life. Uh, it was all after yeah. high school. So in high school, I was made to feel like I was I was worthless. I wasn't attractive. I wasn't good enough to have a girl. There were t uh, there was a time I was suicidal um, uh, because of the growth and the maturity problems that were happening late. And uh, thankfully, the Westmead okay. Children's Hospital. I'm going to give them a little shout out. The Westmead Children's Hospital did a beautiful work with me for three years, from mm. like 16 to 19, and they blessed my life and helped. Uh, steer it in the right direction but yeah during those years and even before that from 13 to 16 uh, were some dark years for me so a lot of that was taken on into my adult life and then and and even though you might change physically you can still have some of those mindsets of you're not good enough and no one's going to want to stay with you or no one's going to want to marry you so then you end up in a relationship and you can be like oh well uh, she's with me and I'll, I'll accept that and I shouldn't walk away from her because mm -hmm. who else is going to want to be with me or or mm. you know I, I'm not good enough to have anyone so I should just be happy to have her and I'll, and I'll stand and I'll take whatever she has to give me and whatever and it's really bad you know there were many times in yeah. relationships I was in, uh, I should have walked away myself, you know, and very early as well because I saw the red flags and I didn't have enough strength uh, to walk away myself because I was scared that it's taken me so long to meet somebody. Wow, it's been two <laughs> years or three years and I'm so fussy, but now I found someone I really like, so I should just put up with whatever she gives me and that's bad. Oh, you God. Know? It's not good. Yeah, uh, I feel all of that. Yeah, right? So... But, you know, in reality, you should be like, you know what? This is not what I want. This is the non-negotiables. I need to walk away. I don't care if it takes me another 10 years. Um, I, mm -hmm. I need to love myself and get away from this. I know it's not good because then ultimately it's going to be painful and most likely they're going to end up leaving you anyway and, uh, and you're mm -hmm. going to end up even more hurt because you've become more attached to them over the weeks or the months or the years you've been with them, you know. So, yeah, definitely mm -hmm. can understand all, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm.